What up, YouTube? This is GeoStealthR1, and I'm coming to you with not only an update with my RC, but a lot of people have asked me they want to get into the Mini Z game and they pretty much don't know where to start or what initially they need to acquire, the price, and stuff like that. So I'll just go down base by base on uh, what I can tell you from my experience. And uh, if you have any other questions, uh, just leave a comment below and I'll be able to assist you. So that being said, uh, Mini Z Racing. Now there are other companies out there that do uh, carpet racing as they call it. Uh, companies like, um, let me see what's a good company, X Power RC, uh, Atomic RC, and there's a few other companies that do um, just ready to run vehicles. So that being said, I have the Mini Z MR03 brushed edition and uh it's pretty cool i mean i like the different variations uh i had i in actuality have a mid motor uh wide on my rc what do you initially get when you do buy uh the mini z rc now you do get the rc itself it doesn't have the aluminum parts as you can see over there and also it does give you a controller so it's pretty much ready to run without the batteries you are going to need eight AAA batteries, four for the RC and four for the controller itself. Now, other than that, it does give you supplies to where it does give you little cones, uh, a few other um, adapters that they give you into the RC where you're able to change the pinion in the uh, rear motor and also uh, extra pinions and extra parts and a few a little, little tools for you to work on the RC. But now you're gonna wanna upgrade if you are going to a track. So uh, things that I recommend for you to get when you do start racing on your local RC uh, shop if they do have Mini Z Racing. Uh, you, are gonna get, uh, you are going to need rechargeable packs. As you can see right here, I have two of them. Um, this is from Orion. I am also utilizing uh, separate types of batteries. I'm using uh, Orion 750s, Orion 800s, and I do have 900s. Um, now what you're asking about what am I giving you these numbers for uh, those are the MAH ratings for the RC the higher the number that you're going with the longer runtime that you have the lower that lower number that you're going with is gonna be a little bit more punch when you are racing with the RC recommendations of when you do buy this RC get yourself some decent tools um, these are very 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 small RC's I sometimes, when I'm getting very detailed into it, I'm using the hands and a magnifying glass to check that out. Um, don't worry about it. if you have sausage fingers, you'll be able to uh, tune out your RC as much as you can. So that being said, that is my updated controller. Uh, that is the uh, Kyosho KT-432PT. And that's a 2.4 gigahertz controller. A lot of people say it does mimic the Fly Sky one. It, it pretty much is exact, but this is pretty cool. I ended up uh, throwing in an adaptive aluminum wheel, as you can see, with my uh, disc brake and everything like that. Also, people are asking me, how much are these bodies? Well, the bodies range are around $50 and up. Uh, the reason why these bodies are very, very, very detailed uh, when they do distribute them to me, distribute them to you but also once they're done making them they're done the only place you can really get them is from ebay and stuff like that so definitely if you are racing uh go with the body that you're interested in or you can make your own body as you can see i'm doing that right now that's roughly around 20 something dollars also as you can see i do have a case and i do have a carrying case for my rc battery case and a tech case right there so let me show you my updated mini z right here and i'm going to bring this a little bit closer let me focus in on the camera and brighten you up a little bit all right so this is what i have right now on my mini z as you can see i ended up going with plastic rims i do have aluminum rims um but you know for this presentation i'm showing you the plastic ones uh, a lot of aluminum parts if you're wondering what this piece is this is to my lap counter for me to uh just get my timing on that a lot of upgrades as you can see on carbon fiber uh also uh, just better continuity i ended up going with the gold tips so i pretty much changed a lot of this from stock to the total uh upgrade what you can do with the mini z as of right now there are other companies like pn racing that can give you different color uh, aluminum as well and they're able to set up a, a low motor mount for you to uh race depending upon your preference of the rc so 
that's what you're looking at if you are going to get into the Mini Z Racing. Um, th there are a lot of other things I can talk about. If there's something that you're interested in finding out, uh, just leave me a comment below. I'll be able to assist you pretty quickly with that. Uh, if you're wondering uh, how should I set up my RC, it's a lot of different preferences that you can go with. But uh, hopefully this video was informative to you. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell my fellows up on YouTube. Later.